Moses is grumpy, that's why I am all the time. I'm joking, I'm always bubbly. So, how are you guys, chatterboxes out there? I hope you're having a lovely day today. I'm just in a bit of a bonkers mood at the moment. I made some funny videos of me doing some singing of my own creations, and it was so cringy. I showed my old brother and his girlfriend and my young sister, and they laughed their heads off, and we all had a good laugh watching them. And yeah, I've just been relaxing. I went on a massive nature walk today and walked miles and miles and miles and it was blooming worth it. It was such a nice day, feeling the fresh air on my skin, the crunchy leaves beneath my feet and it was just lovely. I took a load of nature photos and did some photography and it turned out pretty good. I managed to bump into a few of my mates on the way and just had some nice chats with them. Went to the park and sat on the swing and just swam for a bit and just sat and had some me time. Sat on a bench, got my notepad out of my bag, jot down some storyline ideas for my dog show slash game and some ideas for my book series and did some drawing. And then I walked my dog house and threw the tennis ball for him and then me and my dog came home and he went and had a rest because he was knocked out and so was I. Went and sat on a, the sofa. And the new surface we've got are so blue and comfortable. I had some hot chocolate and sat by the gas fire and warmed myself up and watched some Christmas films. I watched The Ratchley and watched the Santa Claus movie and some other Christmas films. I did some colouring in and some drawing and designing. And me and my young sister played Minecraft and some other games. We just had a nice catch up and I cannot wait. I'm going to be seeing the vamps turn on the Christmas lights in the mall and also see them perform and it's my first time I'm going to see a, a concert so I'm really excited and me and my mates are going to be meeting up on the 22nd of November to have a nice catch up because I haven't seen them for a while because of course we've got work placements and college and stuff and jobs so it's going to be nice catching up we always try and meet up on a Wednesdays and yeah, sometimes we go to pub or we go for food and we're going to be hopefully going to eat out where my mate works. So hopefully she'll get us discounts, so that'll be good. And I have just had such a busy day. Love going on nature walks and I took about a billion photos on my camera and I uploaded some of them onto Instagram and some onto Facebook and some onto Twitter. And I watched some dog tours and dog tours and some vlogs and some Christmas vlogmases. And I did some illustrating and some fashion designing and switched up my dolls and dollhouse from where I've been playing my dog and slash show. And tidied up my office from where I've been working on scripts and storylines for my dog and slash game and working on my book series. I went to watch The Lodge, the Disney TV show that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's on season two at the moment. And it the last episode, which was last Friday, it's always on Friday night, ended where the hotel that we were fighting to save was on fire and we thought that they'd saved the hotel that it wasn't going to get sold and it ended up being on fire and it's ended like that. So I'm hopefully going to get a season three. They can't just end it like that, but after looking into it, but yeah, I just love some of the Disney shows that they've got, like Andy Mack, Blumen Love That Show. I love how they had one of the characters come out as gay and that had never happened in a Disney show before and I think it's really good to get children to understand that love is love. You shouldn't be afraid to feel a certain way if, if, you, if you like girls or if you like boys or even if you like both. I think it's a good, a good message to have. Got a load of complaints by some parents but I think that's just that because they should learn to respect that other people that some people will love boys and some girls will love girls or some people like both and yeah they just need to learn to respect that and that, should, that homophobia is not good so I really love that they've showed different types of people who love different people in TV shows for children to understand what is and that is not a bad thing to love someone. And I watched some DVDs and listened to some CDs and a bit of Shannara Train and Kylie Rook and some Duran Duran and a bit of Oasia and some other 80s stuff and some 90s pop. I listened to some steps and I watched some Kylie tours 
that's a dog tutorials and dog tours and watch my for yourself Simon McKee YouTube Soda Box and the and some other doll YouTubers and I watch some YouTubers and some vloggers stuff and some vines and I listened to a bit of Coldplay and the script and I watched some old soap episodes and stuff. I just had a nice cup of tea and a snack for my lunch and I worked on my books and it was like a white machine. I had white spark for a while so I had a break from writing and I sorted out my booted dolls and I put them away and left my main booted doll for me to sort out and went on to my laptop and started writing some more. And it's going really well. White is block back off. I don't want what is block. I hate it. It's one of the worst things ever. And I watched some sci fi stuff like Water the Road, not Water the Road. I watched some soap stuff um, like Water the Road skins and stuff. I watched some sci fi stuff like Dot 2. I don't know why I thought Water, it said Water the Road as a sci fi. It's not a sci fi, it's a soap. Bear my neck. My brain is mashed. I didn't get much sleep last night and I ended up watching a load of old Glee episodes and some Water the Road episodes. And then I watched Dot 2 and some Supernatural and watched Riverdale episodes and stuff like that. I don't know why I said Water the Road was a sci fi. Glim and Egg is not a sci fi. More like a horror. It's a great show, but it was so crazy, bonkers, always hectic. When I was younger, I was like, oh my gosh, it's high school. Were you that crazy? It was never that bad. We had a few fights at my school, but it was never as crazy as what Lou made it out to be. And then they did, did a f school drama on Channel 4, and I think it's... I'm not sure. Did it get cancelled, or is it still going on? I'm not sure what... I don't remember what it's called. But it was like a diversity and about a school merger. merger. But I, it, I thought it was quite good. I can't remember what it was called now. It was on Channel 4. But... Yeah, I love school dramas, and I love. I also love watching educating, such and such. Apparently, they were going to do an educating Bristol. I was like, oh, I could get on there, but I'm twenty now. I've left school, and also become a teacher or something. But I would love to become an LSA because I've got special needs. I've got dyspraxia, and I am a lot more confident now. And I'd love to be able to help them get more confident and stuff like me, because before I was not as good with like timekeeping and money skills and I'm doing work placement in a cafe where I'm working at a hotel if you'd have told me that a few years ago I probably would have laughed in your face I'm now going off places I'm going to the pub I'm getting the buses to places if you'd have told me that I'd have probably laughed in your face if you'd have told me that I now sometimes go through days where I don't even text or call home which I used to do 50 times a day or text my mum about a billion times so my mum's had strokes and heart attacks so I'm very attached to her and it's like my coping mechanism. She, I'm, so I'm very attached to her. So I used to be, it got so bad that I would, she was like trapped in the house. But now she could go out, she could go to the shop, she could go to, with her, out with her mates, and I'm fine. And it's really good, and I'm really proud of myself for how much I've improved. Counseling definitely helped with my anxiety and my panic attacks and stuff. And yeah, I've just come such a long way. I'm just. Pat myself on the back. I'm I'm really proud of myself. I don't want to brag or boast, but I have done, I've done really well, and yeah, I can't wait to go see my mates again because we've been so busy. We haven't seen each other for a while now, and it's good that we're such a good tight friend group that we literally like siblings, it's like a little family, and we always look out for each other and we always stay in touch. We have a, a Facebook message group that we all like message and like talk to people and talk to each other and stuff. So it's really good that we stay in touch. And yeah, I'm wearing this nice jumper. I really like this jumper. It's so nice and warm. And I really like it. It makes me look slim, so that's a bonus. And I just watched some Disney and Nickelodeon stuff and some manga and anime and cartoons. And I listened to a bit of Anya. And I have just been working on my new book book five to my book series it's going really well i'm just starting to write that at the moment and plan that and i played my dog a show and it's getting pretty dramatic and getting down a bit of a dark path at the moment 
but it's good i love exploring different types of story stuff like writing styles and different genres and stuff and i worked on some new scripts and stories so i don't my dog is my dog is last year i paid my siblings and i sorted out my dolls and dollhouse for christmas and made room for where my christmas tree is going to go for my dollhouse yes i have a dollhouse christmas tree because that's how much i'm obsessed with my doll city should i think it's getting pretty big not wanting to brag or about it i've collected doll stuff for years now i, I started off having a tiny dollhouse and from that it expanded into this massive phenomenon which is my doll little city that i have in my room play with it basically every day i just love it boys and girls can like whatever they want if boys want to like doll stuff they can if girls want to like football they can i hate that the people put gender in a box and think that just because you're mad that you automatically love football and love rugby and love sport and that just because you're a girl you love pink and love barbs and love ballet and stuff boys and girls can like things from both sides of of the so boys can like girl stuff and girls can like boy stuff you can like whatever you like do what makes you happy and don't let anybody tell you different i always have had stick but from people that say oh you can't do that and stuff well i say watch me if i want to like doll stuff i can if i want to like dressing up sometimes wear makeup i can i used to i don't anymore but i probably I, I do sometimes, I still do like dressing up and creating little characters and stuff. I used to like wearing high heels and wearing makeup. I still do like wearing high heels. My feet are like size 12 now, so if I could find a pair of high heels that were that size, I would wear high heels. There's a shop in Cardiff that sell high heels for men, and you can get high heels for men. You even get guideline now, so I think it's really good that boys and girls can do... Girls could do stuff that boys can, and boys could do stuff that girls can. So I think it's really good that you can do that. I'm now off to go work on my books is a bit more, and listen to a bit of Cardi Christmas and Michael Bublé's Christmas. I hope you've all had a lovely day, and I shall see you soon with a new vlog coming out soon. So stay tuned. Bye.